All right, let's uh, let's you know, all right. Let's have pretend time here for a little bit, okay? We're gonna have a little uh, what if scenario, okay? Let's say there's a a guy, okay? Let's call him Joe. And uh, Joe's got a government job, all right? Works for the government. And uh, you know, you know how those government jobs go. You got to do all kinds of crazy stuff, like you know, vote on these e-cigs and crap. Joe doesn't care. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't give a crap. All he knows is he's got to get up every morning at the crack of ass and go sit at his desk and pretend to read crap. So what does Joe do? Gets up, bought himself a real expensive coffee machine. Thing's really nice. Put the old one in the cupboard. Uses a new one now. Freaking uh, starts making the coffee for him so that it's ready as soon as he needs it. Right when he gets up, it's already been making the coffee for him because he needs it so bad. He needs his caffeine, right, Joe? So he drags his ass into the kitchen, and he's got all the stuff. He's got everything. Coffee's practically a hobby at this point. And, you know, he's into all the different roasts and flavors. He's got a fridge full of creamers in a variety of flavors. Hazelnut, vanilla, chocolate, mint. He's got everything. He's got special cups. He's got the good cups. He's got ones he takes with him when he goes out. And today, Joe's got to go in early because he's got to review some papers these regulations on these e-cigs. Joe already knows what he thinks. He doesn't give a shit. He's too stupid to understand. He doesn't want to hear or learn anything. Or someone's paying him off not to care. Or to sign something a certain way that's going to help them and then they're going to help him. It's this ring of evil bullshit. Now what if the only way Joe could get his coffee in the morning so he could get his caffeine fix was if he had to take the raw coffee beans and pour them down the barrel of a shotgun and shoot himself in the face? It'd be a hard, hard thing to do. It'd really take a toll on your health, huh? Could even kill you after a while. People would keep doing it though. That's the only way they get their caffeine in the morning. They're pulling the trigger Probably some of them four or five times a day. But you know what, Joe? That changed. Because someone invented a device. I believe his name was Mr. Coffee. Hey, you know, you don't need to pour the coffee beans into a shotgun and shoot yourself in the face. You can put them in this device. And a uh, heating coil... Changes, runs, you know, water through, you know, you got your filters, you got all your pieces, you got your parts, your tanks, your everything. Hey, now you can just drink it. What a, what a way, better way to get your caffeine. Wow, that changes everything. Wow, there's a safe way to get your caffeine. It's incredible. Thank thankfully, you can get these devices in any store, anywhere. But I'm sure Joe's going to go into work today and uh, thumbs down on e-cigs. Vaping isn't only a safer alternative to smoking. It's an excellent way to see your government's true colors. And if you don't have your crayon box nearby, the color is shit brown. They will only do things in their best interest to keep the money rolling in. Joe's going to go into work with his coffee and make up laws so you have to pay him. 
If you're buying something that Joe isn't going to make money from, he will ban it so that you have to buy something that he will make money from. You know, vapors were smokers, and we were addicted to tobacco, but we quit. The government is addicted to tobacco tax money, and they ain't quitting. They're going to invent laws and ways to keep tobacco money coming in, even if there's no tobacco involved. I mean, people were already starting to smoke less because they were making it impossible. And now vaping is just putting them under. Since 2000, since the year 2000, they've raised tobacco taxes 197%. Okay? They ain't letting go of that cash, folks. So what kind of money are we talking, huh? In 2013, tobacco tax money, 43.9 billion. That's 43 billion, 900 million dollars, okay? I know dudes that'll knock someone off for a thousand bucks. Think of the unstoppable evil that can go down for 44 billion dollars. And with tobacco sales falling, that's why they're proposing 95% sales tax on batteries as tobacco products. That makes a lot of sense. Thanks for uh, looking out for my health. I appreciate that, dipshits. It is not just Joe and uh, Big Tobacco that vapors need to fear. It's the sneaky pharmaceutical companies. They're the ones that are paying people off to make them say this or that, putting out false claims and propaganda and fake case studies. They are professional secret keepers. That is part of their profession. They are science's politicians, okay? You know, they make the smoking drugs, the quit smoking pills which have a possible side effect of suicide, which is really the only way they're going to work. See, we told you you'd stop smoking and everything else. They make the nicotine, they make the gums and the lozenges and the inhalers and the patches and, you know, we know that none of that crap works. But it shows a 40% decrease in smoking for two weeks. That's not quitting. That's pausing for an expensive waste of time. Okay, so back to Joe. He's getting ready to go into his office, right? Got his big insulated cup so he can bring his coffee with him. He needs that caffeine. Can't think without the caffeine. He's even got a special holder in his car to hold his caffeine. So he's driving in his car. Already his head's starting to think, you know, Things he's going to say, you know. His head's already filled with hypothetical bullshit. Uneducated ideas completely tainted with a general dislike for smokers. When they all get together and they talk about e-cigs, he knows what he's going to say. Well, the jury's still out. No, Joe, the jury is not out. We're right here. And there's millions of us now. You're not in. And uh, next time we can vote, we're going to make sure you stay out. Joe's got a million of them. We still don't really know what's in these things. Yeah, yes we do, actually. We needed to know uh, what was in them uh, so that we could make them. You think that just a bottle of e-liquid just came into existence without the hand of man involved? We make them, Joe. We know what's in them. You don't know what's in them. We'll tell you if you want to know. No, you don't want to know? I didn't think so. What we don't know is all the chemicals that are in cigarettes, which you seem to be fine with, uh, because Big Tobacco paid off the FDA. They listed a little over 700 of the chemicals that they add, but, uh, you know, 
FDA looked past the 60-some chemicals uh, that cause cancer, you know, yet I can buy them next to the bread aisle in my grocery store. So thanks for looking out for me and uh, my health. You guys are great at your jobs. It's funny how making shit tons of tax money makes that okie dokie. But Joe, you know, he just won't stop. It looks like smoking. But it looks like smoking. You know, I kind of wonder an e-liquid company would make an e-liquid that makes no vapor. You get the flavor in the throat hit, but it doesn't look like smoking. What if it was that? How would they act then? What would Joe what would Joe have to say? Would we have to be standing outside with the smokers freezing our asses off for something that isn't even harmful? I don't know. But it looks like smoking. You know, Joe, when you're at your desk, I'm sure you make a face a lot that looks like you're thinking. I don't drink coffee. But I don't try to stop people from drinking coffee. I don't get bent out of shape. People have different choices of blends and flavors. I don't care if they have an expensive coffee machine or a cheap one. I don't think all coffee machines have to be identical. There's thousands of devices out there for caffeine absorption uh, in thousands of millions of stores and there's something for everyone. Apparently devices that give people their caffeine are fine. They're in the lobby of every hotel, in every gas station, in every office, in every company, in every hospital. Where isn't there a coffee maker? Or a Starbucks on the corner? There's clearly a serious caffeine addiction problem here. Hmm. It's called being a hypocrite, Joe. Joe, I don't care if your Keurig K-cups leak. I don't care how many milliliters your, you know, Mr. Coffee Pot holds. I don't care if you go into Starbucks and you order coffee with chocolate and caramel and hazelnut creamer with cinnamon sprinkled on top and whipped cream like it's a frickin' Sunday that a little kid would like. I'm not accusing you of trying to get kids to drink coffee because you like whipped cream on yours. It's not appealing to kids, it's appealing to human beings because it tastes good no matter what age you are. You don't give up eating candy when you're 18. Joe, I'm not trying to ban you from drinking coffee in a coffee shop. I don't want to tax you 95% tax on coffee cups because I say they're coffee beans. So Joe, when you've had your coffee and you wake up and you get into work, have some frickin' perspective, you dumbass. Nicotine and caffeine are almost the same thing, the exact same effects. Plants make them, you know, to ward off insects. It's the same deal. Oh, but you need that tobacco money, Joe. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's about tobacco. Even though there's no tobacco in this, it's tobacco. The vaping industry grew out of wanting to escape this bullshit. But we are not escaping. Let people decide. People decided to invent vaping. No matter what country you're in, there is someone in your government that wants to kill vaping. Know this. They're going to take everything good away that we use because it's not, they have to make it so it can't reach their standard. They got to make it too expensive to do or not right. And uh, that's so that everything has to go away and they can start over from scratch their way where they make all the money. We're talking no tanks. In some places already, no e-liquid, no mods, no mechs, no drippers, no sigalikes. We're not talking about 
oh, we're, we're all going to have to smoke cigalites. No, in a lot of places, you're not going to do that even. So you're saying Raven Vapes. The hell? What am I supposed to do about it? You're supposed to do something. Okay? You sign up for, like, Kassah.org. They do all the work so you can be a dumbass and you don't have to think about it. Okay? They're fighting the system. They're making websites that have emails filled in for you already and all you gotta do is copy and paste them and send them off and it does something, okay? Vapors aren't are gonna all band together and save vaping because we're everywhere, we're spread out all over the place. You're only you by yourself vaping, okay? What can you do? You gotta do a little bit, okay? And in fact, you doing something isn't enough you got to get someone else to do something too. You got to go to your local vape shop and you got to ask for to see the manager and say, "Why aren't you getting people to sign up for kasa.org? Why aren't you sending them over to the vaping militia?" You know, the the percentage of vapers that watch YouTube is nothing. The biggest percentage of vapers have never seen a vape video. They don't know that there's this culture around vaping. And they don't give a shit. We gotta make them give a shit. We have to reach outside of the YouTube nest, okay? We don't want 30,000 signatures, okay? We need 500,000, okay? Which also happens to be the number of people that die every year from smoke-related illnesses. And guess what? Me and you, we would have been one of those numbers if it wasn't for vaping. Because vapor, vapors are like the ones that didn't die. Okay? We're the walking dead. So consider yourself a zombie and go out there and eat some brains. Tell anyone you see that vapes. Tell shop owners. Tell your friend that works at a vape shop. And if Joe goes strolling into his office, sipping his coffee, and uh, signs something uh, that closes your local vape shop, stops you from buying uh, vaping stuff online, raises taxes so high that nobody can buy anything, then we got to find out how to get Joe fired. Sign up for Kassah.org or the Vaping Militia, okay? These are people that are actually trying to help vaping, okay? And they're doing it through the system. And if you don't happen to know, that's called punk rock, okay? And the most punk people I've ever met didn't have mohawks. Because their mohawks are on the frickin' inside. I'm Raven Vapes. Vape hard.